eToro tutorial. How to open eToro account, especially if you're outside USA, like for my case, Philippines. And if you're new to this channel and you want more helpful videos like this, please click the subscribe button. Um, if you're watching this video, start by clicking the link below. So I'll scroll down here and click show more and click this link. And you will be brought in this page. Go ahead and click sign up. So I'll enter here my details. And then enter the password here for phone number. Same with email address. Dapat active din tong phone number mo. And then here, hindi ka makakapag create na account unless i check mo tong dalawa. You have an option to read this financial product terms, product disclosure statement, and financial services guide. And also the privacy policy and cookie policy. You can read all of this before signing up. So I already checked this and click this button, create an account. So welcome to eToro. In order to open your account, complete your profile. So nakapag sign up na tayo sa eToro, pero hindi pa complete yung profile natin. Hanggat hindi kompleto yung profile natin, hindi natin na maximize yung mga features ni eToro. So kailangan natin gawin yon. So I'll click this button, complete your profile. By fully completing your profile, you remove the deposit limitations. So let's continue. So I'll just complete my details here. And then click this button next. Uunahin yung street followed by the number, city, and then postal code. This country is both my birthplace and country of citizenship. Kailangan mo ilagay kung saan ka pinanganak and kung ano yung citizenship mo na ngayon. Let's say um, you're a US citizen na or whatsoever. Or either pina pinanganak ka abroad, you need to enter it here. And if your citizenship is Filipino, uh, go ahead and, and pick it here. So sa akin pareho naman. For passport number, um, this number must pertain to your country of citizenship. And also, kung makapansin nyo, binibur ko yung mga information about me. Um, ngayon kasi uso na yung fraud, identity, theft. Ibig sabihin, kukunin nila yung details about you and then um, pwede silang makapag-loan gamit yung details mo. Uh, medyo magagaling na yung mga scammer ngayon. And I'm not a US citizen, neither I was not born, neither born in the US. So I'll check this. Please enter your building number. Kanina, naka-red yung box dito asking for uh, building. So kapag wala ka na nakikitang red, ibig sabihin um, acceptable na siya, mukhang tama na siya. And then click this button, next. So for your trading experience, um, we picked here 20 plus times as well as for this one and for leverage products then. For equities, um, short, very quick uh, description lang or share lang namin yung konting nalalaman namin. For equities, ito yung stocks sa stock market, mga ganon. For ETFs, hindi lang siya limited sa stocks, could also include um, commodity assets and bonds. For crypto assets, ito yung nauuso lately na mga Bitcoin, Ethereum na kailangan mong bilhin. Uh, dito sa Philippines, I think sa coins.ph natin siya pwedeng bilhin. Pero may ibang options din. Uh, let us know if you're interested to know more about that. For leverage products, um, isa sa mga na-list dito is UCFDs or contract for difference, which is a form of um, derivative trading. Uh, medyo high risk to mga to, katulad ng futures and options. Again, if you want to know more about this, um, we can share our um, what we know about this in a, another video just let us know by commenting below so yon and also by the way um kung ano yung pinipili mo dito pwedeng maapektuhan yung ibang uh, features na pwedeng mo magamit inside eToro let's say um you want to copy um if you want to copy trade sa eToro tapos yung profile mo is hindi fit para doon sa kinokopyahan mo. Possible na hindi sa'yo ma-allow yung ganong copy trade na options. So, I'll click next. And then, trading knowledge. I think the best answer for this one is I have attended trading courses. Pwede dito isama yung mga, let's say, naka-attend ka online, sa mga seminars, yung mga ganun siya. For trading knowledge assessment, I picked opening a trade with $100 and 20 times leverage will equate to $2,000 dollars investment. Ito yung tamang sagot. Huwag nyo nang piliin yung iba. Be careful sa pag-answer kasi ang kailangan mo lang piliin dito is yung correct statement. 
plant investments, in which instruments do you plan to trade? Medyo nakakabulo siya. Please select one or more relevant answer. So, I suggest piliin nyo lahat para hindi rin kayo malimitahan sa pag-invest o sa pag-trade inside eToro. Trading strategy, how long do you plan to leave your positions open? So, you have three options. Ang pipiliin ko is yung few seconds up to 24 hours. This is similar to daily. Okay, and then click next. And then purpose of trading, what best describes your primary purpose of trading with us? Short-term returns, future planning, saving for home, or additional revenues. For this one, uh, the best answer would be additional revenues. Um, dito sa eToro, hindi mo siya pwedeng asahan for short-term returns, for future planning, and saving for home. Kasi si eToro, medyo, pag nag-invest ka dito, mataas yung risk. So, pwedeng additional lang talaga siya ng revenue sa'yo. And then click next. Your attitude to risk. How much do you plan to deposit into your eToro account over the course of the year? For this one, you have a lot of options. Um, depende sa iyo kung ano yung gusto mong piliin dito. Depende sa risk tolerance mo kung ano yung willing mong i-invest sa eToro. And then, which risk reward scenario best describes your annual investments expectations with eToro? Potential gain is the green one. Potential loss is the red one. So, dito, may ina-anticipate ka pa rin na pwedeng malugi, pero syempre, mas gusto mo na may mag-gain ka sa itoro. So, alin dito yung pipiliin mo? So, dito, again, katulad ng ginawa natin dito, depende rin sa'yo kung ano yung um, gusto mong figures when it comes to your gain or loss. Sa akin, ang pinili ko is this one. And then, click next. Does any one of the following apply to you? I or any of my immediate family members are director or 10% shareholder ng, of a public tra publicly traded corporation, uh, employed sa brokerage firm, or a uh, high-level elected appointed public official. So I'll pick here, none of this apply to me. I think kaya um, ina-ask tong question na to kasi possible may conflict of interest ka kapag nag invest and then kung meron kang family member na part ng isang publicly traded corporation, possible na may violation sa regulations nila. Kaya nila ina to. And then, your financial status, your source of income. After this one, you can pick uh, more than one. So, sa akin, ang pipiliin ko is yung main source of income ko is salary and may mga konting investment din naman. Uh, pick tayo sa baba. and also savings. Sa savings kasi, yung iba naming pinagsavean, uh, meron din siyang interest while naka-store siya sa bangko. For other people, pwede yung inheritance, yung pension, let's say naka-receive ko monthly for yung sa ibang tao, social security, family financial support, severance, and other. So, I'll click done. And occupation, um, hindi naman specific job title yung hinihingi dito. Computer IT services employer name and address. I'm not sure if this is required, so I'll put in here NA. And why do we ask this? We are required to ensure that our clients invest within their means. Rest assured, this information is kept strictly confidential. So, kaya ina to is to sh make sure na meron kang legit na source of income. And then, click next. Your net annual income. So, hindi ko nakita kanina. next and verify your account you can start trading now with up to 2,000 euros complete your profile now to remove deposit limitations and by verifying your account now you will get a verified check mark so dapat may ganito na sa account ko sa profile ko remove deposit limitations so wala na tayong ceiling when it comes to um, doing a deposit and benefit from a faster withdrawal process. So, ma-alaman natin yan or ma prove natin to sa mga next videos. And, for now, a complete verification muna tayo. Hindi muna ako mag deposit uh, Papakita na lang namin to sa next video namin. So, click this one. 
verify your phone, add an extra layer of protection to your account by verifying your phone. As I've said earlier, mag-send sila ng code sa phone mo. So, importante na dapat may access ka sa phone na to. And click send SMS. And wait ko lang yung code na ma-send sa phone ko. So, ang na-send sa akin is 5 digits lang and click verify. Phone verified. And then, 80% complete profile pa lang tayo. So, kailangan kong i-upload yung um, passport I or any ID card. Preferably yung mga government IDs. Um, for the file format, dapat JPEG file, PNG, GIF, TIF, or PDF file lang yung dapat i-upload mo. Which is akin, PDF file naman yung i-upload ko. And i-upload ko is yung passport. Alright, faster verification. And click next. Address verification. Upload a clear copy of a recent utility bill or bank statement. The document must include any of this. Um, your full name, current home address, issuing institution or logo. Let's say, uh, Meralco bill or PLDT bill dapat makikita to. Or kung statement naman, like yung sa mga banko, local banks, PPI, BDO, yung mga ganon. Issue date less than 6 months old. So, ang gagawin ko is yung latest bill na lang. Nandun naman yung address ko and yung full name ko. And also, yung utility company na nag-provide nun. So, I'll upload a copy. Your file has been uploaded, pero may X mark. Ang weird lang. Pero yun yan, upload na siya. And ganito yung itsura ng uh, bill ko na in-upload. Buti na lang may online account ako sa PLDT. So, dinownload ko lang siya. And ito yung name, yung address ko. Ibi-blur ko lang for security purposes. And ito yung logo ng company na PLDT. And click the next button. Tax identification number. Um, if you don't have a TIN number, um, check this part and then provide the reason here. But since I have one, I'll enter it here. For TIN, um, importante na meron kang TIN number. Madali lang naman kumuha ng TIN number sa VIR office natin. And click the next button. Current maximum deposit is 2000 Pending verification. Allow up to 3 business days for your account to be verified. We'll contact you by email in case further info is needed. You will get a notification once you're verified. So, um, tapos na tayo sa completing ng profile. Hihintay na lang natin yung email from eToro kung na-verify na account natin. You also have an option to deposit funds para daw mas mabilis yung pag-verify. Pero sa akin, uh, medyo mag-play safe ako. Hihintay ko muna yung verification um, confirmation nila before ako mag-deposit ng funds. Which again, ipapakita namin sa next video. And that's it. Sana nakatulong tong video na to. Please let us know by clicking the like button. And you may also check these videos on how to grow your money online. And this is Lou from Invest Library. We invest, we share, you decide. See you on our next video. Bye-bye.